Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to configure ET channel on switches. So as you can see, uh, spanning tree is in action right now. How I can tell that is, uh, let's say, first of all I can check uh, by seeing these two links are in orange, uh, which means they are in blocking mode. And the other way, show spanning tree, VLAN. Uh, I can see that this is in blocking mode uh, 22, 23 and 24 in forwarding uh, gigabit is a root port which is in forwarding and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is in blocking mode so I can see we, uh, spanning tree is in action right now uh, and if I see show interface uh, trunk, sorry, show interface trunk. So these ports are in trunking. Uh, 22 is this port, and 0 slash 1 gigabit is this, and 0 slash 2 gigabit is this port. So these three ports are in trunking. And if I say show spanning tree. Um, so as you can see that uh, the fast ethernet connections uh, have a port cost of 19 each and gigabit has a port cost of 4. So this will change when we try to configure ether channel uh, where ether channel will form a tunnel and which will bundle these links into one and, and will the switches as if only one cable is running from this switch to this switch although there, there are three connections going from there and we, you'll see that in later what I'm trying to say over here let's try and configure the switch with ether channel so there are three links going out of that interface of, of the switch so 0 slash 1 is one of them, need to configure, we have already configured uh, uh, trunking on this port but we haven't configured on 1 and 2, so here there is no configuration, here we need to configure the exact same thing on 1 and 2, I'll just copy and paste over there. So the additional command what you need to Put is channel group for ether channel uh, group 1 you can choose from 1 to 48 uh, mode is desirable okay there are a couple of uh, there there are two protocols PACP and LACP protocols where LACP is uh, open source we can if uh, you have a different switch uh, uh, the make is different apart from Cisco then you can use LACP and PACP is Cisco proprietary so you can use on Cisco switches so the desirable mode is try uh, if you you will only configure this thing when you want to try to initiate a conversation with another switch so your this connection should be desirable and the other connection over here can be either desirable or auto what auto does is uh, tries to uh, respond to a connection which initiates uh, or tries to communicate with it like switch one would like to con communicate with this switch then auto will respond to it only when this switch tries to initiate a connect uh, initiates a uh, communication with this switch if you set both to auto then uh, you can't do that but it won't forward anything because both will be in listening mode Nobody is forwarding, so there's no point for that. So I'll use desirable and try to shut down this interface because I don't want to have any problem. It's best to and make sure all when you're configuring the ports, all the configuration on these ports and on these ports are exactly the same. If the configuration is like mismatch or the, uh, there's a slight mispatched in them then there would be a problem uh, when they would not form 
or trunking between and there would be a mismatch so interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 or 2 so I'll just shut it down for now and before that I tried to con uh, copy some of the commands I'll need to type in switch port trunk native VLAN 99 trunk encapsulation dot 1q and switch port mode trunk and I need to configure one more command which is channel group which is this one desirable and exit and I need to configure one more thing which is interface port channel you can choose from 1 to 48 since I'm using group 1 I'll choose 1 as my port channel and make sure you put the port channel 1 on the link which are connected to this switch which is over here as one as well otherwise there would be a mismatch over there and they won't form a trunking and try and use these commands as well you can try and push problem over here so try to configure the same thing over here as well what I'll do is try and copy channel group 1 you have to make sure it is you can either put desirable or auto I'll use desirable at the moment show you copy and I'll paste it over here exactly the same configuration and fast ethernet 1 and 2 uh, no shirt. I'll make sure it is one. And everything is fine. And one more thing we need to configure is port channel one. And Alright, this is the thing we need to configure. Exit out of there. Go over here. Interface range fn slash one slash two. Type no shut. Exit interface gigabit uh, zero slash one and no shut. Alright, let them come up. In the meanwhile, we can configure these things FA0 slash 22, 23, and 24. So, all you need to type interface range FA0 slash 22 to 24. Type shutdown. And you only have to type the same thing again over here, which I've typed over here. Uh, switch button, but the channel group, I'll change it to 2. And make sure you put it the same for the other switch as you can see the interface port channel 2 has created so now the port channel is to make sure you use uh, port channel 2 from uh, I'm creating a port channel 2 over here on this link and I have to configure port channel 2 over here as well these are port channel 1 so keep in mind uh, right I'll copy this thing I've created desirable over there and I'll on this link and I'll uh, create auto over here Exit. Mm. I don't have to use this command on layer two switches because this is a command for layer three or on the routers. So encapsulation dot one q. So layer two doesn't support this because I'm using a layer two device over here. This is a layer 3 device. 
So fast Ethernet FA0 slash 1 to sorry 22 to 24. 22 to 24. Did I made a fast Ethernet? Oh, okay. I thought I uh, created uh, one and two. Channel group two. No shit. Alright, and this has to be auto, not desirable. Because I can keep auto, but I, I'm trying to show you if how, how it is done. Copy. Interface port channel 2 and I use these commands copy and make sure you keep uh, put the channel numbers the same on this link as well as on this and a different I can use one over here on both this and I can't uh, use one over here as well because they wouldn't form a trunking between and they would will not forward that uh, trunking information on this side you have to use a separate uh, port channel to uh, numbers I've used two you can use anything but not the same it has to be different so so what I can do over here is this range I have to enable those interfaces 22 to 24 and that now should alright before um, let me show you show interface trunk since the other link has already come port channel 1 which is uh, this one this link so before that it was showing uh, FA 0 slash 1, 2 and gigabit 0 slash 1 uh, trunking for this VLANs so now it has uh, formed a tunnel and made uh, uh, it the channel has bundled those links and into port channel 1 which is using these VLANs and if I say show spanning tree uh, VLAN one so it's port channel one and the port cost is has been reduced i'm sorry it is the same because it is not going below that since it was using a gigabit interface and uh, these are 200 mbps so for overall 1.2 gigabits per second i think uh, it is not going below four is because uh, the 10 gigabit is having the value port cost of 1 I guess so it won't go since only it is 1.2 gigabits per second if it was 10 gigabits then this would have changed so but you can see the port cost has changed from 19 on each of the links to 8 this were having FA0 slash 22, 23 and 24 the port uh, channel is 2 and cost is 8 and show the channel I did it the channel summary I did all right so here I'm using group of one with port channel one s4 is is layer two and is in use u for in use and it's using pack p protocol uh, and these are the link it has it bundled together to form this port channel 1 with gigabit 0 slash 1 FA 0 slash 1 and 2 and these are the links for this port channel 2 if I say show the channel this shows the detailed information like it's using PEG-P protocol 
uh, and these are in desirable right and if i show you that command over here as well show it the channel as a summary these are the exact same thing over there but show it the channel port channel and this is the thing now i'm using auto because i typed auto over there the other here it's using desirable and this is auto 22 23 and 22 and it's using pack b protocol so this is how you try and configure the channel on these switches uh, let's see if i can ping my ping my my gateway ping my gateway what about 20.21 can i ping different VLANs? let's check it out all right i can ping other VLANs. can i ping the internet all right as you can see i can ping any system I like can I log in my, to my FTP server dot uh, what's that uh, I think it's two five three Okay, username is Cisco, password is Cisco. Alright, I'm into my FTP server. So, quick exit out of the DHCP server, DNS server. I type in Cisco.com. Am I going to get timeout? Yeah, nope. I got it. It took a while, but it uh, loaded the page. So as you can see, I'm able to uh, communicate from this PC to other VLANs as well as to the internet. And I've config I showed you how to configure the channel. If you have any problem, please let me know. And thanks for watching.